Hello everyone, my name is Laura Faria. I am a security sales engineer here at Cisco. And today's video is gonna be on the new Cisco Secure Firewall SD-WAN. A lot of the things that I'm gonna show you in this demo are pretty new. And so I wanna make sure that you're aware of the prerequisites of the versioning in case you wanna try this in your own environment. The FMC has to be running on version uh, 7.6. The hubs also have to be on 7.6. However, the spokes can be on 7.3 or above. And the good thing is there's no additional licenses needed uh, for the SD-WAN features included in our Cisco Secure Firewall, which is great news. Now, other basic things like your FTDs must, must have variable public IP addresses, and um, you must you know, name everything uh, logically and use the IP addresses of the interfaces. Um, so a lot of this is common sense and we'll, we'll see this uh, set up in my, in my environment. And uh, finally, if you do have, um, you know, if you wanna use certificates, then you would have to um, enroll those certificates into the FMC. Okay, some of the 7.6 releases are quite exciting. And like I said, you'll see some of these in the demo. One thing that um, is very cool is we have recently added um, bulk spokes. And this is really neat because if you have a lot of sites that you want to deploy to, this is kind of a quick and dirty way to do it. We also have the ability to um, use templates for configurations as well in bulk. So you could set up configurations using a template on those FMC, on those FTDs, and then you can add them um, in bulk as well to your SD-WAN setup. So they go hand in hand, it's, but it's a really cool feature um, that enables us um, to deploy quickly and efficiently a, a solid SD-WAN solution. Okay, now the wizard is, um, new and exciting, and it's pretty simple to use. Everything is on one interface. And so you'll be able to create the hub, the spoke, the authentication, and the SD-WAN settings all on that same plane. And um, there, I like this slide in particular because it kind of shows what you're responsible for and what is automated, what is automated within the wizard. And so some of the automation includes the, um, ver um, the dynamic VTI parameters as well as the static VTI uh, parameters are automatically populated for you. We have the BGP overlay uh, also done and um, things such as the pre-shared keys or the selection of IEC and IPsec policies, that's auto-generated on your behalf, which is nice and simple. Um, finally, the uh, security zone is inherited from the static VTI. And so that adds a layer of security already into your um, hub and spoke configuration. And we also generate the BGP neighbor and uh, route for, for the overlays. Okay, without further ado, let's get started with the demo. So this is our FMC interface. And if I go under devices and device management, I can see I have two uh, pre-configured devices. Now for each device, I did have to um, create two loopback interfaces, as we can see here, as well as one uh, dynamic virtual interface for the hub. Now for the spoke, if I go under devices, device management, and my spoke virtual firewall, here you can see I've also created two loopback interfaces, as well as a static uh, VTI interface on my spoke. And um, this is a little bit of homework you have to do beforehand, but once you get that done, we can jump right into the wizard and see what it's like to configure RSD-WAN. So RSD-WAN should be under devices, VPN, site to site. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and click our site to site VPN up here. Okay and it's gonna ask me to give it a name. And I'm gonna choose route-based VTI. And for network topology, we have a couple of options, point-to-point, 
hub and spoke in full mesh. I want to do hub and spoke for this topology. You can see it already already auto chose Ike v2, um, but I could have chosen Ike v1 if I wanted to. Now for the endpoints, I must choose my hub and then my spoke. So for my hub, I'm going to hit that little plus and select the one with the um, dynamic virtual interface. And then I can just drop that down. You can see it auto-populated the IP address for us. And under advanced settings, I'm going to also go ahead and share the VTI uh, IP address with my peer, just because it is my network and I feel comfortable doing that. And uh, the connection time is going to be bi bi-directional because I want traffic flowing in both directions of my WAN. Okay, I'm going to hit OK. Then um, for my spoke, it's a similar um, configuration. I'm going to go and select my firewall 2 for my spoke. And then now for the static interface, like I said, I pre-populated those ahead of time before the demo, but um, I could have done it here as well. And so I'll just select my static virtual interface. Um, I'm going to go ahead and select the source I the tunnel source IP as private. And the reason for this is because I want to create um, a layer of security. Um, you know, I want, I want to hide those IP addresses on the back end. And so I'm going to go ahead and select um, my IP address. And I'm going to also make sure that this, um, the, that the virtual interface is sent to my peers and I'm going to hit okay. Now I do have other options here. Like I have my Ike options where I can understand, you know, what is being done on my behalf and what has been pre-populated. So I can see the SHA that it's using to encrypt and um, get more information about the, the pre-shared key. But like I said, it's nice that these things are done for you. Um, and then for IPsec, I have the ability to, you know, choose the duration, the lifetime, et cetera. And under advanced, if I wanted to choose, you know, the, my keep alive or my thresholds, I also have the ability to edit those settings here. But for the most part, I'd suggest going with the, the pre-can settings and uh, go ahead and hit save. Okay. At this point, I must... Uh, deploy in order to, um, you know, get this tunnel set up. And so I've already um, set up another tunnel that we can look at um, in order to speed up the demo. So um, there's two places where I can, other than uh, where I set up the tunnel, there's two other places where I can get information about the health and status of my tunnel. So under overview, I can actually go into my site-to-site -site VPN. And this is going to include other um, VPN tunnels that are not part of the, the hub and spoke. So you might see, you might have more tunnels configured here. Uh, and then I have the, you know, more information under this little icon that looks like an eyeball. And I can see, for example, the CLI details, such as the, the peers, um, the, the packets encapsulated and encrypted. So I can kind of see that my, my tunnel is up and running. I can also see information about my, my um, more information about my IPsec tunnel. So I can get really good information if, you know, if ever you needed to know um, some of this pre-can pre configuration, it's the information is um, there and easily available to you. And then another feature that I like here is my packet tracer. So with the really nice diagram, I have the ability to understand what is going from my inside interface to my out interface? I can test connectivity either or on either interface, and I can see how that's trajecting across the internet and reaching my spoke in in another location. And then, um, and then I can you know insert different IPs in here and test the connectivity on the different interfaces, which is I think interesting because this is going to help me um, troubleshoot in case I need uh, troubleshooting assistance. And finally, we have the SD-WAN summary dashboard, as the name states. It gives you information about the WAN connectivity, the topology, the number of devices, and the health. 
um, the amount of total throughput on these interfaces, which I think is important um, to make sure that you know the users are getting a really good experience as they're navigating through your network, and then top applications um, access. So a lot of really helpful information from this dashboard as well. Okay, thank you. I hope you enjoyed this short demo of the Firepower um, SD-WAN. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Thank you and have a good one.